Hey guys, welcome to a video on my uh, baby bin reveal where I show you what's in my stockpile of baby things for future. Now I do have a couple other bins out in our storage and I'm not like a crazy stockpiler but when I see cute things at thrift stores or like on sale for pretty cheap, um, I try and think ahead. Alright, so I have a little bit of everything in here. So, to start off with, uh, I'll do some of the um, decorative items. <laughs> um, this doesn't really count, but I got this. It's got a magnet on the back from one of the army um, seminar things we went to. And basically, it tells you um, what to expect from your child for, um, it starts at three or zero months and goes to um, 36 months. And being, like, not super experienced with, like having my own kids <laughs> or experience at all. I have worked with kids, just don't have any. Yes, okay. Um, it shows kind of the interactions of the baby and uh, a caregiver, how they might go about um, interacting with the child. So, all right. Next is something that my mom picked up for me. Um, I had mentioned a while back that I thought it was really cute when we were at Kohl's together. And it's just this little kind of button frame. It's so adorable. It's got like a fuzzy pink underneath and it's got some um, like sparkly edging um, on the outside and then all these cute little pastel buttons. And then on the inside there's a little pattern um, with the threads as well. So it's really very cute. And it went on clearance recently and so she surprised that, surprised me with that. Um, this is just a super cute basket that I haven't been able to use for anything else around the house because I just always think baby when I see a white basket and that would be useful for storing um, wipes and just different things. Alright, moving on to stuffed animals. Uh, I've got a few here. This one is from the Coles Cares collection and I shared this a little bit in one of my recent videos. I would like to have kind of a classic who, like Winnie the Pooh themed nursery and I want to have a like a hanging shelf or hanging I don't know if that's what it's called when it's just like um, like built into the wall uh, with poo characters on it and I saw this and I thought it looked so much like Rue uh, it's not really it's not Disney even but I don't know I thought it looked just like Rue next is I think I found this one at a thrift store um, this is Eeyore, and he's super cute. He is from the classic Pooh collection. And I had to do a little stitching on his back, because I washed him and his, some of his stuff it didn't come out, but it opened up. and um, So he had to have some little revitalization, but um, button on the tail, of course. So he's super cute. And then I have a Tigger uh, also in one of my bins out in the storage shed, but I thought they were, you know, pretty well close to about the right um, ratio for size. Um, and next I have a couple things that you put like, um, they're stuffed animals, but they're kind of like toys too that you put onto the um, baby carrier um, or crib, I guess you could do. Um, this. Um, it's super cute. It's from the Disney Baby Collection. I got it from Kohl's. It's got a um, kind of a bell in the top and then it's this really cute bird um, and its wings crinkle. And I had a, oh and the tail crinkles too. Oh, and it says Wish on the front. Um, I had a $10 like gift card and so I, I couldn't find anything for myself at the time but I thought this was so super cute and rather than waste the $10 I thought I would use it for that. And then this, I saw, and this was one of the things I couldn't decide between um, another time at Kohl's with a $10. Because occasionally they send out these $10 um, gift cards. But it's the Lamaze brand Mortimer the Moose. And um, it says 0 to 24 months, but this is another one that has the hook for hooking it onto um, like a carrier or um, a crib or anything. Um, and then some rings on the back. Um, and he, he rattles a little bit. Um, he's got a, I think he's got a bell in here somewhere. Um, this foot crinkles. This one rattles and crinkles. 
this one's like knitted, which is cool. So my mom ended up getting this for me for my birthday, which caused a little bit of speculation on Facebook. Um, oh, but he's the cutest thing, and I think this would be, it's kind of gender neutral, so it would be good for, you know, a boy or a girl, which is handy. And I try and do that, but occasionally, um, usually it's with the girl stuff. They're just so cute that I, it's difficult to resist. <laughs> Um, and then I just had one sippy cup. This, I think I had a, like a, a discount promotion or something, um, from the Disney store online. And I think it's the only thing I've ever bought from the Disney store online. But it's Pascal from Rapunzel from Tangled. And I just thought that was the cutest little thing. And it's still gender neutral, again. Um... So, very cute. And I just had a couple of books, I guess. Um, this one's a little rough looking, but I thought it was really cute. It's um, Alice in Wonderland. I got this from a thrift store. And, of course, it's not like the whole story and all its splendor. It's kind of um, simplified <laughs> quite a bit. There's, you know, eight or nine words on a page, but... Um, still covers the Cheshire Cat and the Mad Hatter, and it's just, um, very imaginative, so I thought that was a good one, fun to read. Um, I try and get these Pooh ones whenever I can, this was also from a thrift store, it says my very first Winnie the Pooh, Pooh welcomes winter, and the whole story is really cute, it's about, um, Pooh thinking that winter is, like, a person, so the whole thing is kind of, personifying winter and he thinks the visitor is coming he thinks winter's coming we have to throw him a party um so the whole thing is them figuring out winter and um building a snowman and doing all these winter activities um then they got a big like welcome winter banner and it's just i thought it was really cute they've got some clever and cute um story and i do have other books but i guess that's it for this bin and i just had a couple of toys uh, this one was also from Kohl's, and it was on sale at the time, and I had a gift card, um, and there was a study, I think, that was done that showed, like, the top ten, like, to like classic toys that have lasted and that are the best for, um, you know, a variety of things, um, as far as, you know, tactile, using their hands, and then, um, you know, um, fitting the right shape into the right hole and different things. So, can't go wrong with that. Oh, I found one more book. Uh, this is Where's Eeyore's Tail? And I'm assuming this is another thrift store find. Um, and it's got, like, the old-style illustrations that kind of look like drawings. Um, but it's really cute. Eeyore, um, Eeyore loses his tail, and he's really sad, um, and Christopher Robin and all the other characters try and help him find his tail. Um, so, really cute. Um, this I got for Christmas. I've been wanting, for myself, even a sand pail, um, to make sand castles because we live by the beach, and, um, I don't have anything like this, and we always build sand castles. Um, or attempt to. Um, so this is the kind that you put the sand in and then when you tip it over um, and take it off it looks like a castle. Um, so no doubt I'll be using this this summer but I put it in my baby bin for now. Um, one last toy as you can see behind me. This was also a thrift store find. I'll just show it real quick. Um, I think most people have seen these like in doctor's offices and like the waiting rooms and different things. and. Um, it was, I think it was like $4, and I was like, that is fun, like that would be a fun toy to have, and um, colorful and creative and good for like tactile movement, and, and so I was really excited about that. Um, next, I've got a little bit of clothes. Uh, this was a gift from my mom just recently, and I think it's nine months. Um, it's the First Moments brand from Kohl's. And it was on clearance for, like, for a steal. And so she grabbed it and she snatched it up and gave it to me when she gave me the picture frame. And it's the most adorable thing. It's got little ruffles on the front and this kind of, like, um, animal print 
Um, I love the pinks. I love the pinks. <laughs> I think I have way more girl stuff. Maybe not way more, but I, I do probably have more girl stuff than boy stuff. And then it has this little heart on the bottom. How cute is that? Um, and I think this is the biggest size I have because most of what I buy is like newborn. I don't want to think too far ahead because I know even having a baby bin, I'm kind of already thinking ahead. Um, and then another girly item. This is kind of a pale pink. And all of these, I'll say, in this bin, all of these, except for what I've showed you, came from... Uh, a church, a local church was having like a, like a yard sale where people were, you know, just dropping off things they didn't want anymore. And we showed up at the tail end of it and they were just trying to get rid of stuff. They're like, whatever you can fit in a plastic bag for a dollar. So I, I wasn't going to get anything, but I stuffed, you know, these little outfits in because I was like, why not? And they came to like a dime a piece. So you can't do much better than that. Um, it's got three little stamps on the back. It's got um, a double layer of ruffles on the sleeves and it's kind of like a like a shorts outfit I guess um, but pale pink with pinker polka dots pinker polka dots like dark pink polka dots that's, that's what I'm trying to say um, next is this really cute like Christmas or you know Sunday church dress or party dress um, oh, I thought it was so cute it's just like a little princess dress it's like chiffon and it's flowy at the bottom and um, has a little cute little belt on the back, and that is, this says six to nine months. I don't know, that looks a lot smaller than the sleeper, but anyway, so there's that one. Oh, and I love the bottom, how it's got this kind of stiff, I don't know what you'd call it, edging, so it poofs out. I love that. And then this is a cute little summery dress. Um, feels like linen or cotton. It's the Blueberry Boulevard brand. And let's see. It is 55% linen, 45% cotton, so that's close. And this is 12 months. I don't know, this looks a lot smaller than that 9 month one. Um, but anyway, um, it's got these little flowers and butterfly on the front. Little belt. And then it's got super cute detailing along the bottom. It's got some ribbon here and some embroidery little butterflies and then on the back it just has a tie belt and then it came with this little like kerchief like as if they're going to be you know running through the, the wildflower field or something so I thought that was cute and uh, I've got two more girl things and then a boy thing so the boys aren't completely un unrepresented unrepresented. Um, this is just a really simple cotton onesie um, size. It just says small, 8 to 11 pounds. That's pretty close to newborn, I think, but it's just a pink. Um, Child of Mine brand from the makers of Carter's. Um, and I really like these simple, just cotton. I actually am thinking that I'm just going to buy a bunch of like white cotton onesies um, and then get like cute cotton, like different colored pants to switch up more than, more than anything else. Um, next are these super cozy, they're Carter's 12 month pants and they're like fleece in this pink color. And none of these shades of pink are the same, which is really funny. Um, but you can't really go wrong with pink. Um, and then on the bottom they've got like these roll cuffs. Um, in white with these kind of a paisley, not paisley, like roses. They look like roses, roses all over them. So those are super, super cute. And then my one boy outfit, um, Oshkosh overalls in kind of this um, green, green and blue. So those are really cute. And this is, I don't know what size this is. I don't even know where they hide their tags. <laughs> 12 months. So apparently this is 12 months. Okay, and then the last little thing I have in here is this really pretty lavender baby blanket that I found for 99 cents at Goodwill. Um, but I love this color, and I was like, I'm never going to be able to knit like that. 
Okay, maybe someday, but I just, I, I don't know. So I thought that was super pretty, and it's really soft and has a good heft to it. So there you have my little baby stash reveal. <laughs> um, I do have a few boxes out in our storage, um, as I mentioned before, and maybe when the snow melts, I'll be able to pull those out and um, kind of dig through them and share. And I have more, like, boy things in there, so at least they're represented you know, a little bit more. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you're enjoying your Sunday afternoon. I know the sun has been peeking out here and there, here, <laughs> and it's absolutely glorious to see sunshine. So hope that spring is on its way. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I will see you again real soon. Bye.